Hello everybody all at once, this is Theo Cedar Jones, and since I'm moving out of the House of Love, uh, this is a good time to do a life review, because when you're moving, you see all the stuff you did while you're living in that place. So I've been living here for 20 years, and one of the most important things that happened to me was being able to connect personally with Santosha Tantra, and here you have books, amazing books, Unified Field of Love, The Mystery of She Is, The Innocence of Her Form. And I got to visit her multiple times in Three Rivers in the last three years. And we've had this wonderful written correspondence where she said, Theo, you are most welcome to come here to be a part of the circle here. And where she graciously <clears throat> offered to be um, in the free union of renunciate messengers with Adi Da and help guide the global cooperative forum via the firm. And while I was in this house, <clears throat> I accomplished the release of five of my six CDs. So 1995, we released Careless with Matches. And then in 2000, when I lived and started living here, Burning Life. <clears throat> and then in 2005, that's the year that I got to see Adi Da in person like 25 times. And I got to give this CD at his feet. At his feet. At Mountain of Attention in 2005. This is Sacred Anatomy and the world's first full-length rock album of original music dedicated to Adi Da Samraj. Followed by 2007's Bones You Can Trust, more rock songs dedicated to Adi Da. And then my big breakthrough in 2013, one of several, was this album, Life on Earth, which is the first time I felt I successfully was able to write A-list songs consistently, and this is the breakthrough of my songwriting um, on behalf of Adi Da. And then... So that was 2013, and then 2016, Dissolver, which is our sixth album. And 2013 was the year that, in this house, Adida enabled me to awaken from my ego self-contraction. It was in this house that I decided to become Adida's devotee formally, taking a shower <laughs> in June 2001. And... It was from this house that I got to see Adi Da physically for the first time, July 7th, 2001. And it was in this house that I signed my formal vows of devotion on August 31st, 2004. And this is the house where I married my second wife, Bunny Buns, um, and built this temple, um, the Prior Unity Temple at Burning Man in 2008, and had a Prior Unity wedding with Bunny Buns in 2008. <clears throat> and in 2013, I had my breakthrough in painting. I was able to do the Swiggle Horse style starting in 2013 and came up with an abstract painting and drawing style that is just so satisfied with. In 2013, 17, we released <clears throat> Swaybone's Golden Hits. This lovely, eco-friendly packaging. And these are some wonderful sculptures that I bought from an artist uh, and um, our stand-ins for Adidas devotees that I've been use, using humorously uh, to have devotees around Adidas pictures. And in 2019, uh, Swaybun released its box set. And this is the biggest creative deal of my life. Each of these Hot Wheel USB drives, as now it has 170 songs and jams by Swaybun. And there's even a new edition that has 200, which is including 20 jams from Numinous Fools, the band incarnation before Swaybone. And these are just <clears throat> my old ski boots from when I was 13. I always had a, 
I just was obsessed with these as an object of beauty. And here is Theodore Bear, my childhood bear. He's now a devotee. He's now happy. You can see he's lost a lot of hair. And while I lived here, I had this outpouring of writing. Um, I wrote Bay Area Art, The Edge of Recognition. This is my essay about Bay Area artists. Global Cooperative Forum Operational Guide, co-authored with Mike Waters. It's a work in progress, but this is our forum to get the Global Cooperative Forum started. <clears throat> Reality Kit. This is also a uh, starter culture for a new civilization. The Annals of All Same, which is a treatment for a rock and roll science fiction rock opera. The Second Coming of God was Born on Long Island, which is a semi-autobiographical rock opera treatment also. Love Porn, which is my manifesto for fixing Freemasonic pornography. A Manual for the Free Union of Renunciate Messengers. So this is my editing of Adidas notes about the firm. The Turnabout of Adi Dom, a book I wrote about fixing Adi Dom, Adi Dom's church. And Upset the Alpacart, which is a collection, my edited collection of Adi Dom's most fierce criticisms of the church of Adi Dom. So those are some of the books, some of the stuff I've written while living in this house. And I think we'll just finish it off by saying I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I've had, I chose to live a life of intense creative and spiritual freedom. And I'm showing you some of the results that I hope will be a benefit to humanity forever. It's given with love from my heart. And this beautiful guitar to me is the most wonderful guitar in the world. Thank you, Santosha Ma and Adi Da, for the incredible blessing of living here and realizing you here in this house. Much love.